Today we are going to make a leopard roll cake. The ingredients you need for the custard cream are milk, egg yolks, cornstarch, sugar, and vanilla extract. Mix the egg yolks with the vanilla extract, sugar, and cornstarch. Microwave the milk for a minute and 30 seconds. Mix the milk into the egg yolk mixture. Pour the mixture into a pan. Stir over medium heat for about 3 minutes until it reaches this consistency. Pour it into a bowl and refrigerate for about an hour. The ingredients you need for the cake are oil, milk, gluten-free flour, eggs, cocoa powder, sugar, and cornstarch. Separate the egg yolks and the egg whites. Submerge the egg yolks in the milk and the oil. Start beating the egg whites on low speed. When they start turning white, add in half of the sugar. Continue beating on high speed. When lines start forming on the surface, add in half of the remaining sugar. Beat to soft peaks. Add in the remaining sugar and the cornstarch. Beat on medium speed to medium peaks. Mix the egg yolks, milk, and oil. Add in 75 grams of the flour. Mix until it looks like this. Fold some of the egg whites into the egg yolks. Fold that back into the remaining egg whites. Measure out 120 grams of the cake batter. Mix in the remaining flour. Mix the cocoa powder into the remaining cake batter. Pour the white cake batter in a piping bag with a small round piping kit. Pipe a leopard skin pattern onto a baking pan lined with parchment paper. My baking pan is 11 inches by 11 inches. Bake at 350 degrees for about 3 minutes. Pour in the remaining brown cake batter. Use a scraper to spread the brown cake batter evenly. Bake at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. Immediately after removing from the oven, remove the cake from the mold.
Loosely roll up the cake and let it cool for about 20 minutes. Beat half a cup of whipped cream to soft peaks. Mix in the custard cream. Mix in more whipping cream until the mixture reaches a smooth consistency. Spread the mixture onto the cake sheet. Cut the ends of the cake sheet at a 45 degree angle. Roll up the cake. Tighten the roll using a rolling pin. Refrigerate for about an hour. Cut the ends off the cake. 